Hello, this is Pookie and of course Buddy and today we are going to share with you a few ideas about how to manage on the more difficult days if you're struggling with depression. These are ideas that are drawn on both my personal and professional experience and I hope there'll be stuff in here that will either help you personally or help you support someone that you care about or that you're working with or you might be working with them and care about them, I guess. Okay, number one. Um, my number one tip for the most difficult days is just to take things one minute at a time. So sometimes the idea of getting all the way from the beginning of the day right through to bedtime can feel absolutely unmanageable. Um, and on those days, it's much easier if we break the day down into small chunks of time. So instead of saying, I'm gonna manage the whole day or the whole morning, we instead literally say, I'm gonna get through the next minute, I'm gonna get through the next five Five minutes and we might extend that out um, we can break it down into like uh, one song on my favorite playlist or an episode of my favorite TV show or a chapter of my book and just trying to get through that smaller chunk of time feels a lot more manageable and doing that obviously many times throughout the day and hopefully making it ultimately to bedtime uh, number two is to set yourself small but achievable goals and then celebrating when you um, you manage them. I don't mean, you know, throw yourself some kind of crazy pity party. Uh, I just mean acknowledge that, hey, I managed something today. Um, so the kind of goals I'm talking about on my worst days, this might be getting out of bed, um, might go as far as brushing my teeth getting showered or dressed. Um, I might try and do something a bit practical so that I can feel that I've been a little productive. So I might load or unload the dishwasher or do part thereof. Um, it's really completely up to you, but trying to find little things that you can do um, that make you feel that you've achieved something. And it might be as simple as, you know, reading a page of a book or whatever it might be. Um, choose what works for you and acknowledge when you manage that because on these days, then managing anything can feel tough. Uh, number three um, is I try really hard to kind of stick to a routine. Now this can be particularly important if you do not have something like school or college or work which kind of enforces some sort of routine in your day. Um, then that can be when depression really bites and when we find ourselves having those kind of endless duvet days um, and really ruminating and allowing the difficult thoughts and feelings to take over. Um, so establishing some sort of routine, even if it's just a promise we make to ourselves about when we'll get up by, um, perhaps that we will try and build into our routine sort of some self-care, so getting washed, getting dressed, um, we might try and build into our routine, um, getting out, what, whatever, um, but just having any form of routine can be really helpful. It is often easier to try and think about what that routine, however basic, might look like um, on an easier day rather than on the hard day itself. So maybe kind of plan ahead for these difficult days and say, as a minimum, this is the sort of routine that I would like to stick to. Um, number four is to get out and reach out. Now, for me, on a difficult day, then this guy... <laughs> buddy uh, is one of the things that really helps me because I can't stay in the house all day he's a great bedfellow he will snuggle up with me under the duvet but eventually he's gonna say I want to get out I want to go play in the field I want to play with my friends I need a wee um, and so he gets me up and out um, you might not be fortunate enough to have your own dog but if you can literally just venture forth from your room from your house um, and get outside it can do wonders for your one um, particularly if you're able to kind of be amongst um, either people or nature um, that can really really help um, to give you a bit of relief from what's going on in your head and um, being surrounded by kind of nice views by animals uh, by kind of greenery can be great but equally going for a walk um, even just down the street to the news agent or something can be good try and think about how you might reward yourself for getting out because it can feel like a massive challenge so perhaps you're going to walk to your local news agent and then pick up a copy of your favorite magazine or a chocolate bar or your favorite drink or something like that to reward yourself with um, if you can't get out or maybe in addition to getting out think about reaching out now you can do that either virtually or actually um, so actually connecting with people, whether it's in the online world or the real world. Um, being amongst people who we like and who care about us can really, really help on the most difficult days. So they can help us to get through. They can remind us what's good about us. They can remind us that we've managed days like this before and we'll probably manage again. Um, you might not feel like you can be honest about how you're feeling, but actually just having any link with those 
you might be doing that through things like Twitter or Instagram or Facebook or you might be doing it through text or WhatsApp or perhaps you'll pick up a phone uh, and, and give a friend a call maybe invite someone round uh, you might want to be honest and say I'm not at my most chatty but I just want to be around a friend at the moment and that can be helpful again um, talking to your closer friends and letting them know that on these kinds of days what would be really helpful from them as a friend can be a really really good thing to do in terms of planning and um, then they might know that on your trickier days the most helpful thing they can do is come binge watch Netflix with you and that you might not say much but just knowing that they're there and that they care and that they came might make a really big difference um, and might help you to keep yourself safe as well so talking about keeping ourselves safe number five is about making a commitment to the things that we will not do so it depends on what kind of demons you're tackling but for me on a difficult day I will be making myself a promise to try not to resort to unhealthy coping mechanisms so these might be around food it might be binging or restricting um, it might be around self-harm or suicidal ideation so I'd be trying to keep myself safe and um, for other people you might be making a commitment not to use things like drugs or alcohol to manage how you're feeling um, so it really depends again on 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 you um, but what we want if possible is to try and get through this day and if we do nothing else to try not to do ourselves harm of any kind whilst at the same time remembering that if things don't go exactly according to plan that doesn't mean um, that all is lost um, we in that instance we see that as a blip and we try again the next minute the next hour the next day um, in order to try and keep ourselves safe and try and keep ourselves away from the, those unhealthy coping mechanisms, number six uh, is about finding distractions. Now, this can be absolutely anything. It just depends on what's your poison. So uh, you might want to binge, uh, binge watch Netflix. You might want to read. I like to listen to Audible while ironing. That's one of my great distractions. Um, or walk the dog. Uh, lots of people like craft or baking. Um, I often, if I can get myself out of the house, will go climb. Climbing, that's my new hobby um, or I'm learning to play piano I like to do jigsaws whilst listening to stories it really it's completely up to you again a really good idea is to brainstorm this on a day when you're feeling okay um, and also just to take a mental note while you're going around your kind of normal day-to-day -day life on better days and take note of things that really absorb you um, and that you really enjoy doing um, and then try and give yourself permission and try and motivate yourself to do some of those things on a day when you're feeling that things are really really tough because anything that you can kind of somewhat lose yourself in um, so that you're not ruminating constantly on the thoughts that are going around and around in your head on a darker day um, is, is a really positive thing. Um, and the final thing, number seven, number seven, is to forgive yourself. So as I said before, sometimes you're just going to be working on getting from waking up in the morning to going to bed at night and trying to do that without causing yourself harm. Um, and if you can manage that, then that day has been a success no matter how it might feel. But also being a bit forgiving of ourselves if we don't quite manage it. So if we do find ourselves reverting to an unhealthier way of coping, um, then we need to forgive ourselves that and allow ourselves that this was a blip and that we will try again. Um, it can be really hard to be forgiving of ourselves and sometimes we find that if we make the slightest slip that we end up in this cycle because we really beat ourselves up about the fact that we didn't do things perfectly um, but you know recovery it's it's never a straight line um, and so what we want to do is allow ourselves these little dips and troughs in the path um, and to, to continue onwards and upwards in, in so far as we can so forgive ourselves um, and just remember that some days are just hard I wish I could say something more helpful than that but some days just are hard um, and if you get through the day then you've done well um, and good luck for the next day and hopefully the next day will be a little bit kinder to you um, if you have ideas to share comment below um, and also I think having watched other YouTube videos mainly over the shoulder of my seven-year-old children uh, I know that I'm meant to at this point do something really funky like point to a corner meaningfully and go uh, click subscribe here and then hopefully I can add a button or something anyhow I hope it was helpful let me know what other videos you might like and um, who knows I may get around to making them um, good luck take care and comment with your suggestions Oh, and bye from him. Bye-bye.